Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today, we're gonna to be recovering the data at one of these Macs, it's an iMac. Ideally, you wanna be uh, using a broken Mac, because if you can turn it on and access the data, then you don't have a problem. But if the Mac isn't working anymore, and you need to recover your data, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. First up, you need to get a broken Mac. Unfortunately, this one is fixed, but that can be easily arranged. All right, so now that you've got a broken iMac, Let's go inside and salvage the hard drive. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, duh, got the screen out. Look at this beautiful crack city over here. Around the back, all the glasses has just fell off and it just is completely destroyed. But this is what we're looking at. The beautiful, super preserved motherboard. As you can see, accidentally did some damage here. Now you could just rip this hard drive off, but that isn't in the spirit of what we're trying to do here. We're trying to do it properly. So I've got iFix its kit over here and I'll just open it up. And we're looking for the piece to actually fit in these screws. So we take the hard drive out because that's what we want to do. We want to salvage this hard drive. So I've got here, this is the Torx T9H and I'll just stick it into the screw. And we just want to take off the screws here. All right, that's uh, pretty much a fail, but this one is still in. We can salvage this one. So I'll just unscrew that, it's pretty easy. And something to note is, the screws are of different lengths. So for example, one of the screws is gonna go into a very shallow hole, and one of them is gonna go in a deep hole, depending on which component it's sided up to. But as you can see, that is the hard drive. So if you ever wanted to do a hard drive upgrade, it's as easy as that. Just a simple, simple SATA connector here, and you've got your hard drive out, and you can try accessing the data. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna see if we can salvage all the data that's on this SSD. And you put it into, this is a hard drive dock. So when you turn it on, it connects via the power of USP into your Mac or uh, your PC. And then there's a couple of options. You may get the disk just appear inside your finder over here. It may be encrypted, you need to type in a password, or you may get an error message saying the disk is not readable. If the disk is not readable, you need to start using some readable reading kind of apps on this drive. I'm using an app called Disk Drill. I find this one works really, really well. Of course, there are plenty others as well. So you just wait a little while and boom, that's the one terabyte drive that I have plugged in, plugged in, and you hit search for lost data. It's gonna go ahead and start scanning. And this is why you should encrypt your drives because it's already started finding files, 25 files in a matter of seconds it's found it. It's gonna take a while because I've got a slow hard drive dock. But if you leave it running, you're gonna find plenty of data in there. So after a couple of minutes, completely recovering. It's got 20,000 files already recovered. It's got the user's directory. That's where all your photos and documents live. It's got your applications. It's pretty much got a lot of stuff. It's got pictures, go inside there. You see all your pictures, videos in there, audio files in there, your documents in there. So just uh, if you want to recover it all, you just wait for the scan to finish and hit the recover button and save it. Of course, don't save it on the actual drive that's been recovered, but ideally, if you don't want people accessing your data, especially when you throw your computer away, instead launch this utility, click on the drive and click erase and security options. Make sure you don't just choose the fastest. You want to get a bit of security because that zeroes out the bytes. And for more security, you go ahead and use other information. So I'm just going to just format it with a bit of security to get rid of all that data that's on this drive. All right. So there you have it. We've managed to I guess uh, format this drive a bit more secure, but you know, you can also use it to recover the data on eDamage Max. Hope you found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Hey guys, check it out. This is the new iMac. Woo! Beautiful, big, and just about fits in this lift.